We begin in Iowa and what's shaping up to be the coldest caucus day in decades, possibly ever. Former President Trump hoping to ice out his remaining rivals for the Republican nomination with a definitive win tonight. Nikki Haley trying to keep her momentum going despite the weather, hoping her candidacy catches fire heading into next week's New Hampshire primary. And Florida Governor Ron DeSantis hoping a stronger than expected showing reignites his bid to be the Trump alternative. News Nation. Kelly Meyer and Brooke Schaefer are both in Des Moines, Iowa. So, Kelly, despite Trump's large lead in the polls, his campaign making it clear he doesn't want their supporters to take a win now for granted. Yeah, that's right, Kelly. He's going out and telling his supporters to caucus as if he is one point down in the polls. And this is where former President Trump will be tonight in another ballroom when he learns his fate in this Iowa caucus. He is going to be heading out there today, and he returned here to the Hawkeye State this weekend after canceling three out of four of those in-person events. He moved those to tele-rallies, and he held this impromptu town hall on Saturday night and then his last pre-caucus rally on Sunday where we were talking with supporters one dug out of thigh deep snow to make sure that she got there. But one thing that Trump has going for him this time is his ground game that changed since 2016. And we witnessed that over the last several months following him on the campaign trail, going to these school gyms or uh, also restaurants that he was at uh, talking with voters one on one. And he told our campaign reporter Libby Dean that he thinks that's going to make all the difference. Take a listen. 2016, we had tremendous support, but we really didn't have a ground game. We had never done that before. And you know, we had a group of people, but they weren't really a ground game. So, uh, we were doing very well in terms of popularity. We learned, actually, a lot from Iowa. Now, his supporters told me that they will go out and caucus for him tonight despite the weather conditions. But as one Iowan told me, this caucus is full of surprises. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.